This portion of the video will cover the numbering system used in digital circuits. We will begin by examining the decimal system first. You have been taught from your childhood experiences with mathematics how to count from 1 to 10. Basically, you were learning the decimal numbering system. You learned that the decimal numbering system used 10 different symbols. These symbols were 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. The decimal numbering system also utilizes positional notation. This is the order of digits whereby the leftmost digit carries the largest value and the rightmost digit carries the smallest value. For example, the number 9,356 can be stated as having nine one thousands, three one hundreds, five tens, and six ones. The multipliers in this case, the one thousand, the one hundred, 10 and 1 are referred to as weights. Notice that these weights are all powers of 10. For example, 10 times 1 is 10. 10 to the second power, or 10 times 10, is 100. And 10 to the third power, or 10 times 10 times 10, is 1000. So far you have seen any numerical value can be expressed as a decimal number using positional notation and the sum of the weighted symbols 0 through 9. Next we will see that a numerical value may also be expressed as a binary number using positional notation. The weights of the binary numbers will be in powers of 2. Remember the decimal numbers use weights which were in the powers of 10. The numerical symbols used for the binary numbering system are 0 and 1. Numbers in any given electronic system will be expressed as voltage levels, current levels, or magnetization levels. In principle, we could have 10 different energy level states to represent the 10 digits used in the decimal system. However, it would require a much more complex circuitry to distinguish between these various levels. To simplify this problem, the binary system is used since it has only two levels of energy. It is either on or off. This two-state system is much more efficient and much less costly to build. You will see that any numerical value may be represented by the binary system using positional notation. For example, a number with a binary weight of 32 will have a power of 2 to the fifth power. A single binary digit, the 0 or 1, is generally referred to as a bit. Four bits are known as a nibble, and two nibbles make up a byte. Many computer systems will process a byte as a single unit. The byte shown here represents the decimal number 157. At this point we will see how we acquired the decimal number 157 from the byte illustrated. We will convert from binary to decimal, then from decimal back to binary. As you recall, it was stated earlier that the most significant bit was on the left and the least significant bit would be on the right. These shall be abbreviated as MSB for most significant bit and LSB for least significant bit. Since we know that binary numbers are raised by the power of 2, they will double in value each time the positional notation moves one place to the left. As you can see, starting from right to left, the numbers double in magnitude for each position. Each bit is now assigned a certain value depending on its positional notation. When converting from binary to decimal, you simply add the values of each bit which contains a 1. As you can see in the byte being illustrated, we have 128 and a 16 and an 8 and a 4 and a 1. When we add 128 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1, we acquire the sum of 157. Now let's change the value of the byte and see what the decimal number becomes. As you can see, we have 128, a 64, an 8, a 2, and a 1. When we add 128 plus 64 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1, we acquire a sum of 203 decimal. 
Suppose we had a binary number that was 10 bits long, like the one shown. What would the decimal equivalent of this number be? The answer is an easy one. First we place our values above each of the bits, remembering that each value must double as it moves to the left. Then we simply add the values of each bit that has a 1. When we add 512 plus 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2, we acquire the sum of 622 in decimal. Now suppose we need to convert a decimal number to binary. This will also be a very simple procedure. To convert a decimal number to binary, you first subtract the largest possible power of 2 and then keep subtracting the next largest possible power from the remainder, placing 1's in each column of the number you were able to subtract and zeros in the columns for the numbers you could not use. In our example, we see that 64 is the largest possible power of 2 that can be subtracted from 72, because the next largest power of 2 is 128. When we subtract 64 from 72, we have a remainder of 8. Since we used a 64, we place a 1 in the 64 column. Next we see that 32 is larger than our remainder of 8, so we cannot use the 32, therefore a 0 is placed in the 32 column. Next we see that 16 is also larger than our remainder of 8, so we cannot use this value either, so a 0 is placed in this column as well. Our next value is 8. Since our remainder is 8, we can subtract the remainder from this value. This leaves us with 0. We place a 1 in the 8 column since we use the value of 8. Since our remainder is now 0, we will not have a 4, a 2, or a 1 so all of these columns will have a zero placed in them. It is important to note that even though the 4, the 2, and the 1 were not used, we still have to indicate with a bit that these values exist. Now let's convert a larger decimal number into binary. We will use the same process we have just described. Since the largest possible power of 2, we can subtract from the decimal number 1157 is 1024, we will place a 1 under this column. Then subtract the 1024 from 1157. This leaves a remainder of 133. We cannot subtract 512 from a remainder of 133, so we must place a 0 in the 512 column. We also cannot subtract 256 from our remainder of 133 so we will place a 0 in the 256 column. But we can subtract 128 from the remainder of 133, which leaves a new remainder of 5. Since we have used this value, we must put a 1 in the 128 column. We cannot subtract 64 from the remainder of 5, so a 0 goes into this column. Likewise, we cannot subtract 32 from the remainder of 5, so a 0 must go into this column. We can also see that the bit value of 16 cannot be subtracted from a remainder of 5, so a 0 will go into this column. The next bit value is 8, and it too cannot be subtracted from a remainder of 5, so a 0 goes into this column. Our next bit value can be subtracted from a remainder of 5. When we subtract the bit value of 4, we have a new remainder of 1. Since we use the bit value of 4, we will place a 1 in this column. Now we see we cannot subtract a bit value of 2 from a remainder of 1, so we place a 0 in the 2 column. Our final bit value is 1, and we have a remainder of 1, so we place a 1 in this column. As you now see, the binary equivalent of the decimal number 1157 is 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. With a little bit more practice, you will find that converting decimal numbers to binary and vice versa is a very uncomplicated operation. We will now pause for a short review of the material just discussed.
The decimal number system utilizes 10 digits. These digits are 0 through 9. Each digit is assigned a value depending upon its positional notation. The leftmost digit will carry the largest value. The leftmost digit is often referred to as the most significant bit, or MSB, and the rightmost digit is referred to as the least significant bit, LSB. The binary number system uses only two digits. These digits are 0 and 1. The weight of binary numbers is computed in powers of 2. In other words, as the numbers move to the left, they double in magnitude. Binary numbers are used in logic circuits primarily because the system is less costly to build. A single binary digit is referred to as a bit. Four bits are known as a nibble, and two nibbles form a byte. To convert a decimal number to binary, you first subtract the largest possible power of 2 and keep subtracting the largest possible power of 2 from the remainder. Ones are placed in the columns where a power of 2 can be subtracted, and zeros are placed in the others. To convert from binary number to a decimal, you simply add all the values together from the columns which contain a 1. This concludes review number 4.